going on you guys it's your girl there welcome or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on post bell notifications so you get notified every single time you go upload a video which is every wednesday and saturday now and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up at the end of it if you really really love it follow me on my main social media account at here's there it is always on that screen baby and the link is always in that description box i know my hair looks a little bit crazy but it's gonna look better by the time that this video is done and as you guys can see from that title i am gonna be teaching you guys step by step how to do my flat twist routine now a lot of people have always asked me honestly since maybe even like college people always ask me like oh my god like how do you get your twist to lay so flat how do you do that like i struggle with flat twists i struggle with cornrows i struggle with all of that and i am your girl i'm here to teach y'all okay i recently did flat twist when i was going to school i believe on thursday so i'm just like why not give you guys a step-by-step -step routine i really love the way that it came out um and it just lays so flat and beautifully and i'm just like i need to share it with my day of fam and put them on to my products and what i do and all that good stuff already went ahead and detangled both sides of my head um i did split it in half already because it was in flat twist like i said before but i am going to redo it for you guys because i love you guys so very much yeah my hair is already detangled and if you guys want to know the products that i did use to detangle it um you can find it in that description box and i'll also be showing it to you guys um because it's the same products that i am going to be using to flat twist my hair so yeah honestly to do this hairstyle you don't need a lot of products and there's a disclaimer i want to tell you guys right now i don't use gel and i also don't use edge control so i'm trying to stay away from edge control this year as much as possible if i can because i'm really trying to grow my edges back even though they haven't really been disappearing i want them to get back being thicker um and not so thin because honestly i was using a lot of edge control and my edges were thinning out and it just wasn't it wasn't good so you don't need no edge control and you don't need no gel you only need one product and that product is a leave-in conditioner but today i am going to be using the tgin green tea super moist leave-in conditioner with green tea argan oil um it's a lightweight moisturizer very lightweight but i love this i can say this is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners and 2022 just started and i was sent this probably like a year or two ago and i'm just getting my hands on it um it's really really good so if you guys love TGI and the brand, we're on the same track here, boo. Secondly, you are going to need some water, all right? Your hair is like a plant baby. Nourish it, feed it, hydrate it, all right? Make sure you are drinking water because what you put in your body is what comes out. And thirdly, you are going to need some combs. So I like to use this teeth comb um, that I got probably from like my beauty supply store. And then I like to use this wide tooth comb to detangle my hair just in case to get a little knotted or whatever. But like I said, I did pre-detangle, so I probably won't need it as much. So first things first, we're going to take down my twist. Like I said, I did pre-detangle my hair. So my hair honestly is very, very moisturized. Like lately, like I said, y'all, I haven't been neglecting my hair. So listen, I really, I've, I've been doing really good. I'm really proud of myself. I've been moisturizing it, hydrating it with water um, and all that good stuff. So my hair's already pre-detangled. That's what my hair is looking like now. Take these out really quickly. Honestly, I'm really loving this lighting. Let me know down below if you guys like me to do any hair videos in my room. Um, I think what I'm going to do, though, I'm probably going to do, like, informative videos in my living room and do hair videos in my room because that's where I started and I really love the lighting here. Also need to clip my ends. So if you guys see my ends a little shabby, then I haven't gotten to it yet. But trust me, I will. Comment down below what's your favorite protective style. Or like, what do you do to your hair to tuck your ends away? Because for me, these flat twists has always been my favorite hairstyle. Like after wash days, I do this flat twist um, and definitely stays in my head for probably like about a week. Probably I would say five days and then probably here and there I would re-moisturize it and, you know, give it some leave-in, some water. This is what my hair was looking like before oh i think i have one more twist hold on now i know i look crazy i'm in love with my hair so this is the before of what my hair is looking like i think i might do a voiceover honestly y'all because showing you guys and speaking might be a little bit too difficult so if i'm able to just do a voiceover then that would be much better so i think that's what i'm gonna do so let's start right now all right guys so 
The first thing that I like to do to set off these twists is of course to part the hair right down the middle. Now, I struggle with parting, I'm not even gonna lie. So what I typically like to do is I like to follow the middle of my nose up as you guys can see and try to get the part in the middle as possible. I'm not the best at parting and my part is not gonna come out the straightest because I do still struggle as I told you guys, but just try to get a good parting at least so you know the front of your hair looks neater than the back. With the back, it doesn't really matter, um, especially if this is like an on-the-go uh, twist for you. But overall, just try your best. And I do like to take my time when I do my parting, just to make sure that it's not too crooked before people think that I can't do my hair. <laughs> so yeah, this is basically me just parting my hair with my, I like to call it a tooth comb. I'm not really too sure what it's called, but... I try to take my time. My hair is really thick, so sometimes it doesn't cooperate. And I like to put it in a bun one side and then go over it again with the comb as you guys saw previously. And this is how my part looks. Next, I just simply like to spray my hair with water. Um, like I said, hydrate your hair, drench it with water, but not drench it too much. Just make sure it has enough water on the edges, the ends of your hair, the middle, um, and most importantly, um, on the scalp so yeah then i just like to rub it in gently just to make sure it saturates my hair um next is a leave-in conditioner i love this leave-in conditioner by tgin it's super moist moisture is a1 i just like to make sure that i get the product into my scalp into my strands um and just make sure that everything is distributed evenly throughout my hair Especially I like to get on the ends and just to make sure everything is good, nice and smooth and perfect though. Following that, next thing that I like to do is put some leave-in conditioner on the edges of my hair. Like I said, I don't use gel and I don't use edge control. So leave-in conditioner will be your best friend for this hairstyle. Um, so yeah. Then I like to go in with a simple brush, I like to brush it in, at least so it can look a little bit neat. Again, like I said, this is my favorite hairstyle, especially when it's on the go. I like to do this really quickly, it's really easy, um, and doesn't take a lot of time. So I simply just like to make sure I brush the hair in, um, so it can look as flat as possible. But like I said, my hair is super thick, so yeah. So now let's get into how to do the flat twist. Now, I kind of showed you guys two ways. The first way is a way that maybe you guys can um, catch on very easily, which is where I part a little bit of the hair in the front and then I separate it in two. And then I just like to take my hands and just grab the hair inside, as you guys can see. So basically what I like to do is I like to scoop the hair in towards the back and push it to the front. I know a lot of people like to take the hair and bring it to the front, but for me, you have to take the hair from the back and bring it towards the front so you can create that type of twist look that you're looking for and lay it flat down. You don't wanna miss any pieces of hair because then your two twists will look a little too puffy. So basically what I like to do is that exactly as you guys can see i'm using both of my hands one of them is holding a piece in the front while the other one is holding one that's a part of the twist and then i like to gently just bring the hair towards the front so that way it can lay nicely then i like to just spray with water a little bit because it got a little tangled and put a little bit of leave-in conditioner and then continue the process i hope that was pretty clear for you guys um but overall that's how I like to do my twist. Hopefully I could do another video and be more in depth about what I do. But overall, what you would want to do is use both of your hands to bring the hair towards the front of the twist um, and just twist it up towards the end. As you guys can see right here, and your twist is gonna be nice and chunky and flat and cute. So I'm gonna continue on the other side and show you guys what this twist looked like. And hopefully that was a good how-to um leave a comment down below on what you guys think about my twist 